Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, Rubinsky's House of Fine Barbecue. What we've got for you today is something really special. We've got some dino ribs, some Fred Flintstone beef ribs. Look at the thickness of these. This is nice meat. About two inches thick. This slab weighs about, oh, six pounds, something like that. I weighed it, so it's just shy, 5.8. You'll see I've trimmed off all the fat off the top, which you got to do. And if you turn it around, this is the, the, the bone side. Don't worry about this fat and membrane because you need it to hold it together when it's on the smoker for so long or the rest will fall apart. So this is a rather simple recipe to do. All you got to do is, night before, put a little bit of HP sauce on it. Now with pork ribs, you tend to use sweet and sticky type of sauces. Beef is different. Beef, you need a little bit of the more just beefy flavored stuff. So what we're going to use is just a little bit of the uh, HP sauce on here. I like it because of the Worcestershire flavor. It's good. Okay. We won't worry about the back at all on this because really there's nothing there other than other than a little bit of fat and that membrane, right? So get it get it on the side. Alrighty, once you've got it all uh, slathered up with HP sauce, you've got to put some of the rub on it. In this case, it's just my all-purpose Southwestern rub, which I use for everything. Gives it a little bit of zing to your meat, eh? Alrighty. So, when you got your rub put on, just put it in a pan overnight, in the fridge, Ziploc bag, whatever you got. Let it marinate, let all those good juices soak in. We'll come back. All right. Okay, through the miracle of time travel, it's now the next morning. As you can see, the HP sauce and the rub have just, oh, they've settled in and marinated this meat really nice. Too bad you can't smell it. It smells really great. So we're going to fire up the Q. We're going to put it on a 225, and we're going to go maybe six, eight hours on this. Low and slow is the secret. Any ribs, be it pork or beef, low and slow is the only way to go. We'll put it on the Q and show you guys in a minute or two. Okay, bye. Okay, we got the queue fired up at 225. We're using mesquite as usual. So we'll let her go for about three hours like this. Come back and check it every hour or so. We're hoping to get maybe six, eight hours smoke on this. And again at 225 using mesquite. All right, catch you in a bit. Bye. Hey there. It's been about three hours on 225 on uh, mesquite smoke. And it's time to bring them in. You can see how much the, the meat is pulled back from the bone. And I had, to, I had to cut this one off to make them fit the pen. But what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of liquid. In this case, we're going to add some uh, beef bouillon and a little bit of garlic, basically beef stock. We're going to add that to our pan. Just put it all in. You don't need much. I'm only using about half a cup here, kind of deal. And what that is, is just enough liquid so we're braising them for another couple hours. So, get your tin foil out, wrap it up, we'll stick it on the queue, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right. Alrighty, we had these things on the uh, queue for three hours on smoke at 225 and then we fired them up and tended them and put a little bit of a baste in there. Uh, in essence, we... Oh, look at that! They've been on there since uh, three hours. We're braising them at 250 uh, with a little bit of... We, I told you before that what we were using is a little bit of uh, beef bouillon, garlic, and I threw in some red wine because you have to have red wine in there. Things go better with red wine. But you can see, look at the bones are just falling. These are, these are going to be really good. We're going to let them rest. We're going to tend them up, let them rest, get them out of the stuff, and we'll come back. Talk to you in a bit. Alrighty, bye. Welcome back. we got the unveiling of the dinosaur ribs. This is something Fred Flintstone would eat, right? Okay, look at that. Look at the, Just look at this. Look at how the meat is pulled away from the ribs. <gasps> awesome, hey? Come on, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. We'll show you guys. Look at that. Look at the meat on that. Tender, falling apart. That's going to be one good eating, you guys. Alrighty. So, as usual, you guys have a good one. And remember, peace out and Jesus loves you.